What's going on YouTube fishing fam? It's your boy has back at it again with another episode and today I'm gonna be turning This single yak trailer into a double yak trailer using PVC pipes and These t-bars right here. So stay tuned as I whip this thing up and put this thing together it Ain't gonna take no time at all I'm gonna give you a whole rundown of how we're gonna do this whole entire build and it only cost me $200 for parts Obviously, that's not including the trailer itself, but only $200 in parts to um, upgrade it from a single to a double. And this will work for pretty much any trailer and any type of kayak that you're looking to build. You may just have to do a couple modifications as far as like your width gap. All right, guys. So here is the trailer without the kayak on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to be mounting these T-bars, basically the way you see it, how it is set up. I'm just going to be taking off these bunks. These jet ski bunks, they already has a bolt here, one here, one there, and then two up there. And then we're just gonna be replacing it with this bar. So let me do that first, and then we'll go over the next step of the build. All right, so there we go. We take off one bolt. So now we are going to mount this bracket on here. And I just want this thing to, to be even on both sides. This is eight foot. It came stock like this. I may, I may trim it down a little bit, but we'll see. I just want to make sure that right now I can see it's hanging off. Uh, so I just want to make sure that we got the same length on both sides. So right now we got 25 inches on this side and we are at 24 inches on this side so let's bring it out a half an inch more and then we should be good 24 and a half inches and yep 24 and a half inches on both sides now we're just gonna Open that hole up a little bit. And then we should be able to fit this through there. Yep. All right, before I do this side, let's get the other side drilled out real quick because I won't be able to drill it out. All right, we got the hole drilled out and now we're just gonna put the bolt in and secure the bolt and do the same thing on the other side. Now the next step is gonna to be to mount the PVC pipes. So I'm gonna put the Old Town right here on the left side. So we're gonna put one right here and I'm gonna put one more right over here. The goal is to put two kayaks close to it as possible. So that way I have room on either side. It'll probably be this side to put a um, 
rod locker on that side. So let's get these PVC pipes mounted. I'm just gonna be taking a drill bit, gonna be drilling down through the top, make a bigger hole through the top, make a smaller hole on the bottom. That way I can get my bolt through the top and then I can um, put get my washer and mount this thing right here. So we'll have two mounting points, one right here, one right here, and we'll do the same thing with the next one. What I realized was I'm gonna have to raise these up just a little bit because it's gonna be touching. My kite's gonna be resting on that. So just gotta. Right now they're at the lowest settings. So I got plenty of. Let's get back to the bunk installation. I already drilled my holes right here. Got those done. So let's go ahead and mount them up. Okay, what I used was a Phillips head bolt um, and then a washer. And then I have a bolt on the bottom and I have the Phillips head that I can just put down through the hole, the PVC pipe, which is a four inch PVC. And then I just crank that washer with a uh, backing nut um, on the back of that too as well. So the nut doesn't uh, vibrate or back off and get loose. All right, just so you guys can see what I was doing, I drilled a half inch circle on the top and then I drilled another hole on the bottom underneath to put the screw through. I'm using a magnetic uh, screwdriver and I'm using that to, to get the uh, screw in through the bottom. Sometimes I had to, um, I didn't get it right in the first time so I had to use that magnetic uh, tip to pick it up and to get it to fit into the hole. Um, and then I just used the, uh, the Phillips head to tighten down from the top as I use the wrench to tighten down on the bottom and secure that on there. First one done. Now I just gotta do the second one. But first I'm gonna put the yak on top of that one. Then I'm gonna get the other yak and see how far apart I gotta space these out. So where they are, uh, sit, sit where I want them to. So let's do that real quick. All right guys, here is the finished product. I know the kayak is sitting on the one side so you guys can't see that side, but it's the same thing as this side. These are just two inch PVC and these are four inch cause this fits this kayak better and then if you have the old town the spacing that you want is eight and a half in the back and then you want it to go like open up to uh, 10 inches in the, towards the front so in the back is uh center to center and what i mean center to center i'm talking about the center of this pipe right here to the center of that pipe so you want 10 inches in the front eight and a half in the back and that is right there your finished product i will it may trim down these right here are eight feet wide may trim them down we'll see because i am going to be mounting a uh side rocket for my rod holders and it's going to be an eight inch pvc pipe so I, that's probably going to take up this whole space right here all right the rain come and stopped me from being able to record but i still had to finish the project but very simple very easy to do all you're doing is like i showed you you mount your t-bars then you're drilling your holes and then you're screwing your PVC pipe to it. It can't get no easier than that. All in all, it wasn't bad at all. Just took minor adjustments here and there just to make it fit. 
and that was it but that's it we're done i'm gonna get this thing uh strapped and secured on and, and drop it back off all right guys appreciate you watching this video hit that like button and the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing um i did test this trailer i drove it about two and a half hours through the mountains up and down a lot of hills and terrain and stuff and it performed well none of the nuts or bolts or anything backed off even the angle iron um i did have some doubts about that but the angle iron actually performs is very strong i got the thickest angle iron that they had at home depot i may end up changing it out later on to something else but that's just what they had readily available you know so that's what i grabbed um, this is like when any uh, a build that anybody can do, you know, at, from local stuff at your hardware. So you don't have to go to any welder or get anything custom made or custom built. So that's what I was just trying to make this very easy, very simple for you guys.